everybody, I'm Guy Fieri, and we're rolling out. Headed for some of America's greatest diners, drive-ins, and dives. So I'm a flambe captain. The flambe captain, the guy comes to the table, brings the cart, and he cooks things. Steak Diane, fettuccine Alfredo, scampi style, prawn Caesar salad, spinach salad, flaming coffee drinks, and other things that I made up and acted like they were really fancy. But I bring the cart to the table, and the cart has a, has a tablecloth that hangs around the edge of it, a little ring that snaps in place, and you're supposed to hang as the chef told me. Four inches off of the floor. <laughs> Worst beating I ever got from that chef is I said, when I explain to people how to do this in the future, do I jiggle my fat cheeks too? <laughs> You've never seen a cleaner dish station. I washed it up really nice. So yeah, I'm a father captain. I bring my cart to the table. I throw the pepper grinder behind my back. Do all these things. I'm there in the most smoking, ugly, pop polyester outfit you've ever seen. Brown, tight, I look like I'm a dancer at Sears. <laughs> the vest, the jacket, the company, the, they're called Dickies, perfect name. The cover of the whole thing. It was so bad that when I would drive to work, I would wear a sweatsuit on the outside of it just in case I had to stop and get anything. Lord knows I was not going to break down on the 101 in Northern California wearing this. So I go to the table, and it's a husband and wife celebrating like their 19th wedding anniversary, 20th wedding anniversary. She's sitting here, high back by the booth. She's sitting here, he's sitting here. I bring the card up. She is so excited anybody has come to the table. <laughs> She's got a beehive hairdo that would put Mark Simpson to shame. I mean, just would kill her. This thing had a cell, they, they put a cell tower in it, okay? She's having Chardonnay. She's getting tipsy. She tells me I haven't had Chardonnay in a long time. She's loaded. <laughs> he's had nine scotch and sodas. And he's not saying a word to him. He's big fingers, you know, big worker guy, and jack and rack and all kinds of big red guys. So I come up and say, I'm going to stick that in for you. Oh, what are you putting in that? <laughs> I said, uh, butter. So she drinks the Chardonnay. He doesn't talk to me at all. Doesn't have to do. Doesn't have things to do. And it is more, more scotch and soda. So he's got like 12 scotch and sodas, two bowls of French onion soup, and I'm cooking for her. Oh, what are you putting in? Mushrooms. Mushrooms are in. So I do the whole ring of I throw the brandy bottle. I set it on fire. I crack the pepper. But one of the key things that I have to do with this presentation is I have to grab the great coupon mustard with one hand. It's all this, this like I'm doing a magic trick or something. I asked him if I had to make the snorting bowl too. I was back in the dish. And you have to take the lid off with one hand and then dab the mustard out into the pan and then reseal the great coupon, set it back on the cart. Pretty easily done. So I do it, I cook the meal. I'm done with the meal. Now remind me, at the beginning I told you the part about the curtain hanging from the cart. Well, I used to, you know how kids today wear their pants low? I used to roll the skirt on my cart low. I never wanted to see the wheels. You're a culinary gangster. <laughs> so I would drop it right to the floor. Right? That's how you do it. You put it right down. So I finish cooking, I give her the plate, put my hand out, looking for a little tip. Looking for a little tip. Dude's tips. He's 19 scotch and sodas by now, okay? She's having a Chardonnay. Great. Take my cart, wheel it back, and just as I pull away from the, pull away from the table, 
the cart stops. Gentlemen, might be different in New Jersey. I don't think it is. I know how it is in California. If you're lost, do you get out and ask anybody? No. You don't even call anybody because you have this. You have this male GPS. Just like I didn't stop and go look at what was wrong with the cart. Instead, no, I grabbed that cart and I yanked it with authority. <laughs> what happened changed my life. The gray coupon shook off of the edge of the cart and started to tumble down on to what was the worst ugly brown carpet to find out in a restaurant you've ever seen. That's why they keep the lights on. <laughs> I'm going to get killed for Mark Milligan, the dining room manager. This is the end. I'm going to go to this station for the rest of my life. And I'm running in sand in a slow motion movie. You know, the dream, the dog's chasing you. <laughs> trying to come over the car, trying to, you know, like I'm going to do some cool dirt cheater, you know, grab it kind of thing. All of a sudden, thank you very much. That was a personal throw out to you guys here. I really appreciate it. So, I have to no avail, and what happens now really sets things into a frenzy. The jar comes off of the cart and lands so perfectly. It's a risk getting down like this. Sometimes I don't get up. <laughs> Boom! Hits the floor. The lid comes off. <laughs> and a globule of mustard shoots out like a culinary cannon over the over through the air and I'm just as Mrs. Comes down. 